Ladies and gentlemen, D-Touch International presents the 16th Miss Tourism International 2012 World Finals. The Glitz. The Glamour. The year 1994. Miss Tourism delegates from 22 countries set foot for the first time in Malaysian soil and that sparked the beginning of a great pageantry for many years to come. That is the premier world final of Miss Tourism International. From dream maker to queen maker, Dato Danny Ui, the pageant extraordinaire, had franchised his title to more than 80 countries around the world, dispensing his dreams for others to realize. Since then, this dream had brought together more than 500 Miss Tourism delegates in the promotion of tourism. The Miss Tourism International World Finals, held on 31st December for 12 consecutive years, is the only and longest running New Year's Eve pageant in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tourism International 2012, celebrating festivals of the world.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will get to meet the girls by country and name, individually. Introducing to you 56 delegates from 56 nations around the world. Algeria, Ines Belkasim. Armenia, Inga Saturiani. Australia, Monica Radulovic. Azerbaijan, Armina Muradi, Kosarvandani. Belarus, Anastasia Pahrani Knaya. Belgium, Angie, Emmy, Paul, Andrea Bowden. Bolivia, Sasha Rosario, Medina Meta. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Fatima Alic. Bulgaria, Joanna Lachezarova Zarkina. Cambodia, Tol Sokni. China, Song Jia. Costa Rica, Anil Quesada Cespedes. Cyprus, Thalea Dimosthenes. Czech Republic, Katarina Kaskova. Denmark, Sophie Mai Schmidt Dirby. Dominican Republic, Clarissa Molina. El Salvador, Cristina Guadalupe Grande Pleites. Estonia, Zinia Likacheva. Finland, Maria Karin. France, Annabelle Metton Anuil. Georgia, Ani Arabizza. Hungary, Agnes Molnar. India, Mrinalini Singh. Indonesia, Ofalin Octaria Sitapu. Japan, Tomomi Takano. Kazakhstan, Aida Azimbayeva. Kosovo, Christiana Duhanai. Kyrgyzstan, Marina Kliuk. Luxembourg, Eloise. Palmier. Macau, Tiffany Wong. Macedonia, Clementina Nomoska. Mexico, Gabriela Sotelo Maldonado. Moldova, Alisa Riba.
Mongolia, Amarzaya Tokbatar. The Netherlands, Daily Zandvijk. New Zealand, Gloria Ofa Blake. Nigeria, Marian Usinsibi Makbere. Norway, Elena Onstruen Urberg. Pakistan, Bakhtawar Shah. Panama, Cleris Velasquez. Paraguay, Lutz Maria del Carmen Motorolon. The Philippines, Rizzini Alexis Gomez. Poland, Agata Justina Ziarek. Portugal, Geraldine Marie Dominguez da Vizla. Romania, Diana Solomon. Russia, Anna Volkova. Singapore, Louisa Lavnia Thomas. Spain, Raquel Arias Jimenez. Sweden, Maxine Marie Callington. Taiwan, Lin Ichie. Thailand, Suputra Chuncharon. Turkey, Berin Zumrut Erdal. The Ukraine, Anastasia Lebedyuk. Venezuela, Marielis Alejandra Castellanos Perez. Zambia, Atino Vini Freda Cabue. And please welcome hosting nation Malaysia, Jun Yong Wan Jun. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. I think these ladies deserve another big round of applause. Let's give them a big round of applause. Congratulations in their beautiful, exotic national costume. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special title, the best in national costume. Picked from the 56 countries participating, may I now call upon Dato Denny Ui to accompany the Honorable Deputy Minister of Information, Communications and Culture on stage, please. receiving the title Best in National Costume. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges have chosen Miss Tourism 
Mongolia. Amarzaya Toktbatar for the best national costume. Congratulations, Historism Mongolia. And a very special thank you to the Honorable Senator Dr. Maglin Dennis de Cruz and accompanied by Dr. Danny Oi, who will return to the seats. Thank you, ladies. Prima Kasi. Ladies and gentlemen, from Sunway Resort Hotel and Spa, Kuala Lumpur, D-Touch International is proud to present the 16th Miss Tourism International World Finals. I am Mahathir Lokman, your host this evening for the 14th out of the 16th World Finals, wishing you Selamat Datang and a warm Malaysian welcome. Tonight, with the glitz and glamour in the presence of 56 Miss Tourism International World Finalists, is a moment that we have been waiting for. The culmination of the uh, exciting two-week stay in Malaysia with the crowning of the 16th Miss Tourism International. This is Malaysia's homegrown title, initiated in 1994 by Datuk Danny Ui, and is a platform to promote tourism, culture, and friendship. And the theme for tonight is celebrating festivals of the world. There is always a reason to celebrate and what better way to do than with your family, friends and loved ones while learning about a variety of cultures from around the world. The celebration continues with the delegates having a special treat to meet some of Malaysia's best in their own fields. So ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look and see who they have met. Hi. Okay, Hi. So, uh, Hi. so our, today we're going to do a little demo for you guys. So why don't you guys just come on out and try it first? All right? Okay. Let's go. Well, we had a great time today, the Miss Tourism International Delegates. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it too. We wish you guys all the best and good luck! <laughs> Malaysia best! My name is Beng He. You are? Hi, I'm Sophie from Denmark. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Selamat datang. Nama saya Agi dari Hungaria. Hello, selamat datang. My name is Tiffany. I'm from Macau, China. Hello, Tiffany. Nice meeting you. Hi, I'm Agatha and I'm from Poland. Hello, hi. I'm Bengi. Nice meeting you. I, I've been playing this game for the last 15 years, so I'm just going to show you a very simple uh, basic technique on the game of squash. To start the game, you, you need to, to learn how to hold the grip. As you can see, we form a V on the grip. I've been training for a very long time, 20 years. Uh, I watch my diet, 
training. Uh, when did you begin? Oh, okay, uh, I started weight training when I was 18 years old. Now I'm 42. What are the challenges you face? The challenges, the more challenges I face is myself. You know, uh, I got to train very hard. I got to give in everything I have to prepare for each competition. Diet is very important for me. Uh, I watch my diet very closely every day. And uh, I emphasize a lot on protein like chicken breast, eggs, fish, and moderate carbohydrates. Malaysia's best! Hello, I'm Miss Tourism Armenia. Hello, I'm Miss Tourism Bulgaria. Hello, I'm Miss Tourism Cyprus. Hello, I'm Miss Tourism France. Hola, I'm Miss Tourism Costa Rica. Hi, I'm Miss Tourism Singapore. And, and with us, we have Umpi and Pippi, the famous twins! Hello, and now with us, we have the co-founder of the beautiful Upin and Ipin, Mr. Syed. Syed, how are you? Good. The first project, we, we did a movie, uh -huh. actually. Uh, Upin and Ipin was meant to be some of the side characters, but turned out when we released uh, the show, people liked Upin and Ipin most. So from there, we rolled out the characters and turned it into an animation series. And what is it Upin and Ipin means? Is that, it means something or just a um, name? It's actually, if you look at the acronym of the name, it's uh -huh. U and I means like oh, you and I, okay. so we just uh, add something to the end to, to make it catchy, so it's Upin and Ipin. Malaysia Fresh! Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, Makati Wash. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. 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 from the Philippines. Good being you from Thailand. Welcome to my country. Please sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Mr. Datuk Jimmy Chu, how have you started in your fashion designing? My father is a shoe designer. So when a young, I watch my father how to design his shoe and making shoe. I want to be a uh, shoe designer. That's why I want. What the fashion show of the uh, Jimmy Shoe in the Malaysia? Malaysia, is, uh, we have a shop in Malaysia as well. Mm -hmm. We got KLCC and Pavilion shopping mall. You see all the collection from UK from all over the world. We all have in Malaysia as well. So when you have a time, please drop by to look at the Jimmy Choo collection. What inspire you every time you create a new collection? Because it's always a grand slam. Yeah, I think it's very important. You have to love what you're doing. Yeah. If you love what you're doing, you always have an inspiration to come out. Malaysia's best! I met many more people, but that's what we could um, get in record, ladies and gentlemen. However, we envision the festival as a gathering place where all can meet, share, and also learn and have fun. In this pageant, we have gathered 56 countries, as you all may have known, and have the opportunity to exchange intercultural knowledge. When they are here in Malaysia, of course, they will be experiencing our warm Malaysian hospitality and, of course, spirit. Next, for your eyes to see. We will be featuring a segment of our rich cultural heritage of Malaysia, Truly Asia, in the collection of fabrics presented on stage to include colorful batik, regal songkit, and of course, the elegant kain tenon or the woven cloth. Please welcome, in three segments, the batik, songkit, and tenon.
ladies and gentlemen, the Rigo Fabric Song Kate. Finally, the kind the known, the woven craft.
beautiful ladies, ladies and gentlemen of the 16th Miss Tourism International 2012 in the dazzling collection of Malaysian fabrics, Malaysian batik, Malaysian sonkit or the regal fabric, and of course the traditional woven cloth, which is also called a tendon, a collection from Kraftang and Malaysia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in my hands now is the results of the 16th Miss Tourism International 2012 World Finals, the subsidiary titles. We have altogether seven subsidiary titles. Some of them have been announced earlier, but we will announce again today. For the Miss Focus Point Dazzling, adopted by Focus Point Vision Care Group, may invite that in Joyce Go, the director, on stage to do the honors of the presentation to the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Focus Point Vision Care Group for Miss Focus Point Dazzling. It went to Venezuela. Marielis Alejandra Castellanos Perez. Congratulations, Venezuela, and a very special thank you to Director for Focus Point Dazzling, that enjoys Go. And now for Miss Alexandre Christie Personality, adopted by AC Thai Malaysia, remember hard. Now I invite Kenny Tang, Director. Miss Alexandra Christie personality goes to Kyrgyzstan, Marina Kliuk. Congratulations, Kyrgyzstan, Marina Kliuk, and thank you, Kenneth Han. For Miss KL Sogo Trendsetter, adopted by Sogo KL Department Stores Number Hard, may I invite the Business Development Director, Dr. Sean Alexander Isit. Miss KL Sogo Trendsetter. Crown went to Australia, Monica Radulovic. Congratulations, Australia. Thank you, Dr. Sean Alexander. Is it? Next subsidiary title, Miss Pokong Glamour. Adopted by Pokong Holdings Berhad. I invite that in Jennifer Hahn, director. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Miss Pokong Glamour Award went to Paraguay, Lourdes Maria del Carmen, Mota Rolón. Congratulations, Paraguay. Thank you. That in Jennifer Hahn. And the next three subsidiary titles, ladies and gentlemen, are new 
awards that we are announcing tonight. For Miss Crowning Glory for Beautiful Hair, adopted by My Thomas and Guy Salon and Academy. Please welcome Thomas One, Director. The award for Miss Crowning Glory goes to Indonesia, Ofalin Oktaria Sitapu. Congratulations, Indonesia, and special thank you to Mr. Thomas Wan from uh, Thomas and Guy Salon Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, for Miss Beautiful Glam Smile, adopted by Glam Smile Dental Specialist Center, I welcome CEO Jasmine Chong. girl with the most beautiful smile for Miss Beautiful Glam Smile goes to Nigeria, Marion Usinside Makbere. Congratulations, Nigeria. A special thank you to Jasmine Chong, CEO. The seventh subsidiary title, last but not least, is for Miss Gorgeous Beverly Wilshire, adopted by Beverly Wilshire Medical Center. May I invite on stage the MD Aaron Sue. The Miss Gorgeous Beverly Wilshire title goes to Macedonia Clementina Namoska. Thank you to all our distinguished sponsors and congratulations to the, all the subsidiary title winners and of course, thank you ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, for attractive lips, speak words of kindness. For lovely eyes, seek out the good in people. For a slim figure, share your food with the hungry. For beautiful hair, let a child run their fingers through it once a day. For poise, Walk with the knowledge that you never walk alone. People, more than things, have to be restored, renewed, revived, reclaimed, and redeemed. Remember, if you ever need a helping hand, you will find one at the end of each of your arms. And as you grow older, you will discover that you have two hands 
one for helping yourself and the other for helping others. A special quote by Sam Levinson. Very touching video indeed. Okay. All the 56 delegates, ladies and gentlemen, were brought to the T. Ratana home in Tamandesa, Kuala Lumpur, a special home for the aged, for the old folks, and also for children. Something happy. On Christmas Day, or Christmas Eve, the delegates were treated to a special Christmas dinner by Detach International, a Christmas party where 23 girls took part in the talent showcase and in our next segment we will be featuring the top three talent finalists that will also be vying for the best in talent subsidiary title our next segment will be featuring three of our very talented performers and she's from Estonia Zinia Likacheva playing the saxophone Hungary, Agnes Molinar doing the majorette dance, and our Malaysia's own Jun Yong singing, I Can Take My Eyes Off You. Let's give a round of applause to our talented delegates from the three nations Estonia, Hungary, and Malaysia.
Gangnam Style Gangnam Style I bet all of you were surprised. <sighs> it feels so good. You all have to try to do the Gangnam Style at least once in your life, okay? <sighs> Thanks, Arthur. Ladies and gentlemen, travel is more than the seeing of sights. It is a change that goes on deep and permanent in the ideas of the living. And Miss Tourism International brings beautiful ambassadors from around the world to Malaysia, not only to crown a new winner for the title, but to show the world the beauty of Malaysia, to experience Malaysian hospitality, culture, and traditions. As the saying goes, to know Malaysia is to love Malaysia. And this event has touched the hearts and souls of many in the past 15 years. Let me break it down. I remember sunny days, chilling on the beach and catching rays. Shell toe shoes the girls would wear, pink bikinis everywhere. Listening to CDs at the dawn. Outcast blasting rolls apart There's so much that we've been through There's still so much more to do Growing up can be so strange But some things will never change To all the girls that had my back I'm with you and it's like that To all the girls who sing along with me To all the girls who wear I wanna be To all the girls from here across the sea I wanna thank you for being good to me To all the girls that I can't wait to see To all the girls who held it down for me To all the girls who gave me memories I wanna thank you for being good to me Na 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 Sometimes I sit and reminisce On all the hot girls that 
that I miss Tank tops with the low cut jeans All the guys know what I mean Hip hop style the retro ride All the girls that's on my block You've been down with me since one And we've only just begun Growing up can be so strange But some things will never change To all the girls that had my back I'm with you and it's like that To all the girls who sang along with me To all the girls who where I wanna be To all the girls from here across the sea I wanna thank you for being good to me To all the girls that I can't wait to see To all the girls who held it down for me To all the girls who gave me memories I wanna thank you for being good to me Stop activities for the past two weeks, ladies and gentlemen, with the delegates of the 16th Miss Tourism International 2012. And now the moment that we've been waiting for, how time flies, the evening wear segment by the delegates showing off elegant gowns from various designers from their homelands and also their own personal design, uh, the personalized creations by the delegates. And to lead them onto the floor will be the dancers from the World Dance Academy doing the rumba. I'm scared, so afraid to show Gentleness you feel inside 
set you free You'll have what's meant to be All in time you'll see gentlemen, the evening elegance.
Dari semuanya wanita yang pernah Dari semuanya wanita yang pernah mencintai dan ku Thank you, thank you, it's such a pleasure working this, with this beautiful girl, I need my towel all the time, and now the moment that we've been waiting for, a very, very, very nerve-wracking time, that is the results of the top 10. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, those of you at home and those of you who are here and the official judges, if your scores could tabulate with each other. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call the top 10. And the results is in my hands. At no random order, these are the results, OK? The top 10. First.
Venezuela, Marielis Alejandra Castellanos Pérez. The Philippines, Rizini Alexis Gomez. Australia, Monica Radulovic. Kingdom of Thailand, Suputra Chucharon. Russia, Anna Volkova. Just five more to go. Malaysia, Jun Yong Wan Jun. Paraguay, Lutz Maria del Carmen Motorolon. China, Song Jia. India, Mrinalini Singh. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, just one more spot. Who could that be? Please welcome New Zealand, Gloria Opa Blake. Top 10, ladies and gentlemen, and I think all of us should give a big round of applause to the 46 representatives at the back. Thank you very much for a job well done. Terima kasih. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, and now the judges will be working hard. It's very difficult now because they have to tabulate the scores and all the scores will start from zero. It will be a completely new score from now on. So all these girls have a very equal standing. So ladies and gentlemen, although we picked the names at random order, the names will now be called alphabetical order for the interviews, yeah? Please welcome Australia. Everybody will be answering the same question. Name the very popular festival of your nation and why is it so unique? 20 seconds. The Sydney Mardi Gras. It's a fantastically, par par it's a parade, bright and colorful, and it's so unique that many thousands of tourists come each year to celebrate with us. And I personally love it because it demonstrates that Australia embraces different cultures and lifestyles. Thank you. Thank you, Australia. Short and sweet answer. Please welcome China, Song Jia. We have an interpreter, translator, Irene. You could translate the question again, please. I think the most important festival in our country is the Spring Festival. Because it is a symbol of, my, of China. Um, on that special day, all the family members will get together and to celebrate it. Uh, thank you very much. Shishini, thank you very much. Thank you, Irene. 
Very good. She, trans she did her own translation. Thank you. India, Mrinalini Singh. Good evening, distinguished judges, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as we all know, India and Malaysia is the land of festivals and tradition. In my country, Diwali, the festival of lights, depicting good over evil, Holi, the festival of colors, Guru Purup, Eid, Christmas, and many more. But the festival which is celebrated every day in my country is womanhood. Women are treated with ut utmost respect in the form of goddess, the Devi, mother, sister, wife, friend. Women are also considered the Shakti, that means the power to create, the power to create nature by taking a part of it. Thank you so much. Bahad shukriya Danawa, thank you. From India, we come to M for Malaysia. June Young, one June. Salam Satu Malaysia. Malaysia's very own Independence Day stands out as the most important festival in Malaysia. It is unique because this festival is whereby all Malaysia, regardless of race, color, and creed, come together and celebrate as one. Merdeka to us means, means the unity of all Malaysians in focusing on progress while maintaining our culture, tradition, and heritage. Thank you. Terima kasih. Thank you, Jun Young, Malaysia. New Zealand, Gloria Ofa Blake. Good evening, everyone. As few of you may not know, New Zealand is steeped with culture. In the late May to early June, Matariki, um, the Māori New Year, is celebrated. It's to remember those that have passed in the year that's gone, as well as focusing on what's to come. New harvests, new beginnings, and a new year. Thank you. Thank you, New Zealand. Please welcome Paraguay, Lourdes Maria del Carmen Motorolon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The most important festival on my country is the Day of the Virgin of Kapube. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people walk miles and miles to honor the Virgin. But this is not only about the religion. This is about the faith, the faith that moves about away, the faith that puts all the hearts together. And that is what makes it unique. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Paraguay. And now, coming closer, Philippines, Rizini Alexis Gomez. Good evening, everyone. One very important festival in my country would be the Sinolog Festival. It's one of the grandest and most colorful festivals in the Philippines with a very rich history. But what makes it unique is because of the undying devotion of the Filipinos to the Senor Santo Nino or the Child Jesus. It is a symbol of our cultural heritage, unity, and diversity in bringing people together to promote our traditions for a brighter tomorrow for the people today, for the children of tomorrow. Thank you and have a happy new year, everyone. Thank you, Philippines. Marami salamat po. Please welcome Russia, Anna Volkova. We have a translator, if you do need. Exciting, memorable, bright show you can see in 9 May in Moscow, capital of Russia. In this day, all Russia celebrates Victory Day of Great Patriotic War. You can see parade uh, with officers, military, uh, airplanes, tanks. It's very interesting. Believe me, you must be seen. Spasiba, thank you, Russia. Anna Volkova. And I'm from the Kingdom of Thailand, Suputra Chicharon. Good morning, everyone. Oh, no, sorry. Good evening, everyone. Um, the most important festival in Thailand is Sokran because Sokran is the traditional Thai New Year celebrate on April 13. And Songkran is the traditionally attempt to resist and pay to respect to others, including family members, neighbors, and monks. Thank you very much. And I want to say I love Malaysia. Happy New Year. Thank you, 
Thank you, สวัสดีค่ะ And last but not least, South America, Venezuela, Marieli Alejandra Castellanos Perez. Hola, muy buenas noches. La Feria Internacional de Turismo, llamada FIGME, es la que se celebra todos los años en mi país. Ladies and gentlemen, Venezuela has many, many festivals, and one of the most popular festivals is what is? Or Cinco de Mayo, which is 5th of May. Esta nos permite promover no solo el turismo nacionalmente, sino también internacionalmente. It is a very touristic um, festival, which is also a national festival for many Spanish-speaking nations. Permite el intercambio de las relaciones públicas y también mostrar todos los atractivos turísticos que en mi país se encuentra Venezuela. I would like to welcome all of you to Venezuela, where they have this very special intercultural festival, and it is unique only in Venezuela. Muchas gracias. Buenas noches. Thank you very much and good night. Check it out. Yes. Thank you to our beautiful ladies. We'll give a few seconds for the judges to do a final, final, final tabulation. Congratulations. You did very well. Thank you. Bahar Shikriya, India. Thank you. Paraguay, gracias. Russia, Spasiva, Australia, thank you. Venezuela, gracias. Philippines, Paramik Salamat po. Thailand, Akurita. Malaysia, Terima Kasi. China, Shishini, and New Zealand. Thank you. Kia ora. As the saying goes, all work and no play makes Jill a dull girl. So after a tense moment with the top 10 and all the answers that they have given in various languages, we would like to share with you some of the fun failed times behind the scenes that these girls had during their short stay in Malaysia. And we'd like to take you especially to the nation's first 5D waterplex rides at the Sunway Lagoon theme park. Let's join.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Malaysia's own Dr. DJ Dave with To Love Somebody. The world is peace, harmony. That's a lie. That I'm kind of lie. But now we show. I want my life to be Live with you Live with you I can say Everybody say Do the things that I want to do But what good does it do If I ain't got you Ain't got you Thank you, Dr. DJ Dave. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in my hands now, I have the announcement of the three subsidiary titles. And we wish all the girls good luck. This is for the Miss Sunway Charm, adopted by Sunway IFM Studio Amber Hart. Please welcome CEO of Sunway Shopping Malls and the Theme Park, Mr. Chan Hoi Choi.
Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sunway Charm goes to the Philippines, Rizini Alexis Gomez. Thank you to Mr. Chan Hoi Choi, CEO of Sunway Shopping Malls and Theme Park. And now for the Miss Friendship, a special subsidiary award voted by the delegates, adopted by the Sunway Resort Hotel and Spa. May I invite John Ocalitano, General Manager. Who could that be? The friendliest girl for the 16th Miss Tourism International 2012. The girls have voted for Algeria, Ines Belkacem. Congratulations, Algeria. And the final subsidiary title is Best in Talent. You've watched them, and the judges' marks are final. Adopted by number one hot pot, presenter Mr. Vincent Zhu, director. Ladies and gentlemen, the best in talent goes to Malaysia, Jun Young. Congratulations, Malaysia, and thank you, Vincent Zhu. We'd like to thank the members of the judging panel and thank you all of you for being here and making time to be with us. And in my hands now is the results. First, we'll begin with this very new, well, in fact, it's not new, but we have reintroduced the special award for Miss Southeast Asia. And this is to celebrate the spirit of ASEAN or the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, a special award presented to one out of the six delegates, among them from Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, and the Kingdom of Thailand. May I now call upon former Miss Malaysia Queen of the Year, Carmen Kaur, accompanied by Dr. Danny Uy on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Miss Southeast Asia 2012-2013 award goes to Thailand, Suputra Tucharon. Thailand, Suputra Tucharohan for 
been crowned Miss Southeast Asia. Thank you, Carmen Kaur. Ladies and gentlemen, the top five in the Miss Tourism International pageant will receive individual titles for each of them. And for the Dream Girl of the Year International 2012-2013, may I invite Dr. DJ Dave, recording artist, to come on stage to do the honor. Accompanied by Dr. Danny Uwe, President of Miss Tourism International. Who could that be? Ladies and gentlemen, Dream Girl of the Year International 2012 goes to Malaysia, Jun Young Wan Jun. She will receive a total of 111,000 ringgit in cash and kind, including a full scholarship from the Lim Kok Wing University of Creative Technology. June 1, Malaysia. Miss Tourism Cosmopolitan International 2012. May we call upon award winning actor Dr. Jalaluddin Hassan. Let's see if your guess is as good as ours. The judges have chosen for Miss Tourism Cosmopolitan International 2012. Paraguay, Luz Maria del Carmen Mota Rolan. She will also receive 114,000 ringgit in cash and time including a full scholarship from the Lim Kok Wing University of Creative Technology. Terima kasih, thank you. Dato Jalaluddin Hassan. Ladies and gentlemen, still three more to go. Miss Tourism Global 2012. May I call upon the general manager of Sunway Resort Hotel and Spa, John Otelitano. <music> the title of Miss Tourism Global 2012-2013 goes to... Venezuela, Marielis Alejandra Castellanos Perez. Received 116,000 ringgit in cash and time, including a full scholarship from Lynn Cochrane University of Creative Technology. Congratulations. Two more to go. Miss Tourism Metropolitan International 2012. May I call upon Dato Niao Vun Yen, Managing Director, Property Investment of Sunway Group. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Miss Tourism Metropolitan International 2012 goes to Australia, Monica Radulovic. She will receive an amount of 118,000 ringgit in cash and time, include a full scholarship from Lim Kok Wing University of Creative Technology. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're very anxious to know who will be winning the coveted crown of the 16th Miss Tourism International 2012-2013. But before that, we'd like to introduce to all of you the lady who made Malaysia very proud, winning the crown for the first time in 15 years last year. Please welcome our 15th Miss Tourism International 2011 Eileen Gabriela Robinson. Hello everyone, my name is Gabriela and I am Miss Tourism International 2011. Miss Tourism International has put me on a platform where I've been able to travel the world um, and see amazing, amazing cities and meet amazing people who have definitely taught me different things and I feel that I've grown and matured as a person. More importantly and what I am most grateful for is the support that I have been given throughout my reign. Uh, support from my family, um, I love you. <laughs> support from uh, my fellow Malaysians, support from Detach International, especially Dr. Danny Ui for guiding me and showing me um, his ways and the right ways of promoting Malaysia to the world. But my journey doesn't end here. I will continue to give back to my home, my country, Malaysia, and of course, the world. See you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Eileen Gabriela Robinson, Miss Tourism International 2011. So beautiful, and I tell her every day. Yeah, I know, I know. When I compliment her, she won't believe me, and it's so, it's so sad to think that she don't see what I see. But every time she asks me, do I look okay? I say, Eileen Gabriella Robinson. When I see I also call upon Tan Sri, Dato Sri, Dr. Jeffrey Chia on stage to join Dato Danny Uwe and Gabby. Ladies and gentlemen, the president himself of the Miss Tourism International will be declaring the winner. Please proceed to the microphone, Dr. Danny Uri. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is... From Philippines, Regina Alexis Gomez. Miss Tourism Philippines, ladies and gentlemen. Presenting Alexis Gomez is crowned the 16th Miss Tourism International 2012 2013.
Crowning her is the reigning Miss Tourism International, Gabriela Robinson. And trophy by turn three, that is three, Dr. Jeffrey Chia. Let's give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to our top winners. Congratulations. The Philippines, Australia, Venezuela. Paraguay and Miss Southeast Asia. Thailand. May you have a wonderful reign as the Miss Tourism International 2012-2013. And to all the top 10 finalists, a very special congratulations. And of course, to the other 46 world finalists, Terima kasih. Thank you. And a happy, happy, happy New Year 2013. To all our beautiful people here, we'd like to thank you. I'm Mahave Lokman on behalf of Dr. Danny Ui and all the team at Detach International. Thank you to the members of the media for all your hard work for the past two weeks. Thank you to all the beautiful and the handsome judges, the talented Dr. DJ Dave, and everyone here, my friends, families from around the world. Thank you from Switzerland from BJ, from Sweden, from everywhere. Thank you. Special thank you to the Deputy Minister. Let's give the Deputy Minister a big round of applause as he goes up for a photo with the girls. And Dato Davias can come up too. Your Highness, thank you, Pangamani Raja, please come up. Invite you up. She's so beautiful. One Hussein. We have to be fast as the girls will be going to Datara Merdeka just to join the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Information, Communications and Culture. go away as we have the special New Year's party here with Jerrica Chan, your DJ, who will also be presenting the special tokens to our distinguished sponsors. Once again, we say thank you on behalf of Detach International. Please don't go away. Thank you. Some of you have to go and join others somewhere in KL or Klang or Brickfields or Puchong. But please stay and enjoy. To all our friends, thank you for joining us. Please join us and we stay. When I see your face. 